Hello, you guys. So, I have eyebrows now. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm on my way to work, so... I'm, well, I'm actually just got to work, so... But um, I just want to talk about something really fast and mention something. So, me and my friend, um, Krista, were talking the other day, and I... We were talking about, like, bullying, because she was talking about some stuff her husband had gone through, and so... I was telling her things that I've gone through and I realized oh my goodness that's why I have a low tolerance for a lot of things that's why I have triggers I'm easily triggered by a lot of things that other people are not triggered by but when I was little well like in elementary school um hold on okay so when I was in elementary school um me and my sister used to get bullied like bullied when um like what you see in the movies bullied like that was us you know um they had uh we wore a lot of secondhand clothes we which really where I grew up in down really down south south that wasn't really a big deal that became a big deal when I moved back up north um but um but regardless so we got bullied like they made up songs for us we would go the bus would come pick us up and um they would like trip us on the bus and we were trying to find a seat they would all laugh in the bus um they would make up songs about us they made up songs about us so like as soon as we were getting on the bus they would start singing those songs now why the bus driver never stopped any of this i don't know it's a long time ago i am freaking and i'm gonna be 46 i have no idea that's when I was like five, six, seven years old. So I don't know what happened back then. But I do know that we were very bullied. Um, I remember um, the songs being sung about us, us be being tripped, and even by high schoolers. Because the bus, it was a very small school. And uh, the bus ended up, uh, like would come pick us up, pick everybody up. Because we lived out like in the middle of, a bunch of fields we were uh i lived in like a barrio in the middle of like a bunch of like there was corn fields cotton fields canals like all this stuff and so they would come pick us up um we would even if the waters if it rained a lot and the waters would like this might sound like one of those old people stories but i'm so being honest here so um the the water would overflow the canals and stuff and so we would end up walking through like inches of water just to get to the bus and uh there would be fish like flapping in the water running right in front of our house it was freaking crazy i remember these things but anyway regardless um uh but yeah we we were we were picked on i remember in school too like i remember one day i went i was about to get on the bus and this kid out of nowhere came and just punched me in the stomach and then ran off and i was like what the heck you know but i always got bullied when i was younger and um and then i was also bullied at home you know uh because i was quiet and stuff when i was little when i was like in elementary school like between pre-k to like fourth grade I want to say is when I was just super quiet and um my we were getting beat you know at home so my stepfather wasn't the best and so we were getting bullied at home and then we got bullied at school and then so people made fun of us did all this stuff and so it made us feel like sheepish like we wanted to kind of just back away when I moved back up north um my first year here in fourth grade um I was still a little bit, you know, sheepish. But then when I got into my um, fifth grade, I started to stand up for to people and I started to stand up for people. So I would see other people getting bullied and I would stand up for them. And that's just how I became. I became that person from then on. And uh, that's what I think led into my later on in years. Uh, th those of you who know me and know my story, you know, uh, when I started getting into gangs and I started doing all of this stupid stuff, um, it, it all just stemmed from there, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, and me standing up for my sister too, you know, cause she was my younger sister, I was the oldest. So like, I don't know, there's just a lot that I was thinking about and I was realizing like why it bothers me when people are ugly or when people are start being ugly to other people or talking about them behind their backs 
or um, I, it bothers me so much. And I believe that's what it stems from. It's from me being bullied when I was younger for so long and even being bullied by my stepfather until he was out of the picture when I was, you know, when I turned about 14, you know, and um, I don't know, just some thoughts I want to share. So I think that's part of where my anxiety and ADHD and all of that probably stems from a lot of things. But um, anyway, just thought I'd share that with you. I have to get inside and clock in. But uh, love you guys. Remember, you're not alone. Bye.